Sammy, how are you? Hello, Nick. Say, how come you don't eat here no more, eh? So how come I don't eat no more? <laughs> Sammy, this isn't my game. You know who runs this car. There you are, Connor, 150. Certainly, I know I'm over my credit limit, but you're not talking to one of your punters. I shall have to talk to Mr. Connor about this. If you owe Joe Connor 300 quid, you'd be worried, wouldn't you? How'd you come to do that, then? A couple of poker games, a few three-legged horses. It was easy, really. I I'll get it for you. It's just I'm in a bit of stock at the moment, right? J Joe? <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable. Not too comfortable. We were raided last week. <laughs> Look, fellas, all I need is a bit of time. How much time do you need, Mr. Lee? No, these boys don't mess about. I'm scared stiff of razors. I come out in a sweat when I go to the bar. You have the money, Mr. Lee? Damn me! We're for Mr. Connors. Damn me! Damn me, Lee. All right. Is this what you worked all these years for? So that this layabout can come and pounce off of you? Thanks, Millie. You've got nothing to thank me for. I wouldn't raise a finger to help you if it was lying bleeding in the gutter. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do then? I should probably rob a bank more than likely. Have you gone mad or something? You've got your problems, I've got mine. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Anderson, that chair isn't for sale. Well, you're telling me it's worth a lot of money, but it's worth more than money to me. Yeah, well, you see, my mother died in that chair. I wouldn't part with it if you was to offer me 50 quid. 60 quid. It's a lot of money to raise in five hours, Mr. Lee. connor has got the needle to you. What difference how I owe it? I know it. Seven o'clock, bring me up until seven, right? I'm fine, everybody, I swear. I don't make jokes, mister. No, I bet you don't. You want me to run? I'd dig up my own grandmother if I knew where she was buried for a few quid. I don't like to see him take advantage, Lou. And as far as Sammy Lehman's concerned, the world's full of mugs.